is championship Saturday here at the Kohl Center coming up. The Division I title game between Milwaukee King and Germantown. We got going this morning right here at the Kohl Center with an epic game in Division V. It was Wisconsin Badgers recruit Sam Decker with 40 points, including a last-second three-pointer to lift Sheboygan Lutheran to a win over Racine Lutheran 67-66. In Division IV, it was Dominican, an impressive effort to knock off Cuba City and legendary head coach Jerry Pettigrew, 61-43, the final of that one. In Division III, Brilliant winning its first ever WIA State Boys Basketball Titled Alliance, defeating Gail Etrick Trempolo 40 to 35. In the game you just watched on Alaska, behind an impressive performance from junior guard Matt Thomas, 55-38 for the galloping ghost of Kakana. And coming up in just a bit, Milwaukee King 24 and one against Germantown 27 and oh, plenty of great memories being made at these WIA State Basketball tournaments. If you'd like a DVD copy of any one of these WIA state tournament games, those are available for just $29.95. You can put those on your Visa or MasterCard. Include shipping and handling as well. To order your copy of this game or to search the database of past WIA tournament DVDs, go to prepfilms.com. Coming up, Division One, Milwaukee King versus Germantown. But right now, a message from all of our local stations. This is your WIA Network Station. seventh annual WIAA Boys State Basketball Championships are brought to you exclusively by Associated Bank. Sign up for Associated Bank checking today and get exclusive backers checks featuring Aaron Rodgers himself. For details, visit AssociatedBank.com. Marshfield Clinic, encouraging you to live an active, healthy life. Marshfield Clinic, don't just live, shine. Menards, save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Rural Mutual Insurance Company, a proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award. Go to RuralINS.com. We at support your public schools and your teachers. Join the conversation on Facebook forward slash Speak Out Wisconsin. We at moving education forward. And by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. One more game to go here on Championship Saturday. Two powerhouses, Milwaukee King and Germantown. You know, last year we brought you the story of Natalie Staples, a young woman, girls basketball player from Middleton, who nearly lost her arm and her life in an ATV accident. But this season, Natalie returned to the basketball court, and she's trying to help the Middleton Cardinals get back to the WIA State Girls Basketball Tournament. Jamie Hirsch from WKOW-TV in Madison has more now on Natalie Staples' Road to Recovery. Upon first
first glance, Natalie Staples blends right in with the rest of the Middleton girls basketball team. She really hustles. I mean, she's got, she's got a big heart and, and uh, she's out diving on the floor like everybody else. In fact, the only thing you might notice about Natalie that's any different from her teammates is a black cast on her left arm. It's a reminder of the day Natalie almost died after rolling an ATV onto her arm crushing her bones and nearly severing her arm. Doctors were able to reattach the arm, but Natalie's recovery is nothing short of miraculous. I'll get a couple dribbles in there with my left hand, like just usually during practice. Natalie has played in almost every game for the Cardinals this year, some more memorable than others. You know, the first game of the second game, she made a three-pointer, and that was, that was awesome just to have her out there and score that first point. And those special moments aren't just happening on the court. For the first time, a couple months ago, I put my hair up by myself, and like, oh, like tears came down. <laughs> like, I mean, like I had to have everybody put my hair, and like now I can do it myself. And now I'm just like getting dressed, getting everything with the team. We all can handle ourselves. I'm more independent, which I love. <laughs> Natalie's arm still isn't what it used to be. She's got about a year left in her recovery process, but it's clear she's gotten used to her situation. I remember being able to play with like both hands and stuff like that, but I feel like this is just so natural that I don't I don't get very frustrated anymore, you know. I'm relearning how to like grab the ball, like can catch the girls' passes, catch and shoot, like it's just it's natural again. Natalie's back to being just another one of the girls on this Middleton team, but can certainly appreciate how far she's come. I'm so fortunate, I'm so blessed that like I'm able to come out here and play with these girls. Like it's amazing. <laughs> like just this just a miracle and that like I'm just so thankful. <laughs> I'm so thankful. For the WIA statewide network, I'm Jamie Hirsch. Great to have Natalie Staples back on the basketball court for the Middleton Cardinals. We've got a good game coming up on the basketball court here at the Kohl Center. Division I state championship floor preview. Let's sit at courtside to the announcing team, the coach Dan Witter and Jake Zimmerman. Okay, Bob, thank you very much. We're excited about this tip-off, I'll tell you. Germantown getting set to take on Milwaukee King. Germantown going for their first ever state title in school history, and Coach Milwaukee King has five state titles already, going for a sixth gold ball. Yeah, the defense is going to be the name of the game for this, this, this game tonight. Both these teams are going to come at you hard, and it's going to be interesting to see how they handle the pressure both ways. Let's take a look at the Menards points of the game right now. We'll begin with Milwaukee King. Here's a couple of the players that had great games last night against Oshkosh North. Arroyo Edwards and Austin Malone Mitchell. 15 points for Edwards, 13 points for Malone Mitchell. Now let's check out on the Germantown side. And of course, when you talk Germantown, the way that these two played last night was just unbelievable. Jake Showalter and Zach Showalter. Coach, I mean, look at those numbers. Amazing. Last night was a dream game for both of them, I'm sure, but I, you know, they're looking forward to doing it one more time. <laughs> the, the younger Jake, who's a sophomore, hit six of eight three-pointers, scored 22 points, had 16 points in that first half. Zach was just flashy as ever, big slam dunks and the whole deal. So, I mean, we are, we are expecting just a heck of a game coming up here. Certainly a whole lot of fun to watch between Germantown and Milwaukee King. Germantown is number one in the state. Milwaukee King is number two. Now, last night, King had that big pressure defense that they're known for. Division one record, 20 steals last night. Germantown set a state record with 24 assists. I mean, Coach, something's got to give tonight. Absolutely, and that's that's what you're kind of looking for. It's going to be up and down. Uh, both teams averaging high, high scoring, and the defense is what turns you over and gets you a high shooting percentage. So we're looking for that to, you know, how many turnovers is I think is going to be the big key tonight. When you look at what Germantown did last night, I mean, right off the bat, a slam dunk by Zach Showalter. They got everything, everybody buzzing here. Are you expecting, like, the big flashy plays like we saw last night again? I would think Coach Goss is going to have a few guys back there to say not not start the game like they did uh, last night. So I, I would think that they're going to defend that and then go from there. It was interesting from the opening tip-off, and you know what? I think it will be tonight as well. We'll have the tip-off of Germantown and Milwaukee King coming up in just a couple of minutes. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. We live in a place where freedom of speech is our right. Giving someone a platform to speak ensures their ability to exercise that right. By standing up for educators, advocating for programs like foreign language, WEAC speaks for me and my students. Add your voice to the conversation at Speak Out Wisconsin on Facebook. 
Save big money during the Menards March Madness Sale. Get the best brands, best quality, and best price, period. Dutch Boy Platinum is the ultimate in paint technology. It has an exclusive no-prep, no-prime formula and advanced stain blocking for superior coverage versus other leading brands. It saves time and money and is the fastest way to a beautiful finish. Right now, save $7 a gallon. That's $35 on 5-gallon pails. Save big money at Menards. When I was a kid, I loved to eat. Oh, food, food, and more food. Junk, loved it. Didn't matter what it was. This is kind of actually painful to look at. But you know what? Coming up, you're going to see what I look like now. That's not me. Come on, that's a beauty queen. Get her out of my story. That's me now. Much better. I just think it's important to set a good example for my daughter. It's Game 3 of the Central League Soccer Tournament, and Dave, these kids are beat. And there's still one game left. I don't know how they're ever going to make it. Let's hope their coach has some inspiration before the next game. Want to know a secret? Research indicates that low-fat chocolate milk is better at rehydrating, helping muscles recover, and boosting energy than leading sports drinks. Wow, it's like a whole new team. What's their secret? It's pretty amazing, Bob. Got chocolate milk? between the Milwaukee King Generals of the Milwaukee City Conference and the Germantown Warhawks from the North Shore Conference. Here are tonight's starting lineups. First for Milwaukee King. Starting at guard, a 5'11 junior, number four, Austin Malone Mitchell. At guard, a six foot senior, number 10, Dominique Borum. Starting at guard, a 5'9 senior, number 12, Nick Stokes. And one forward, a 6'5 senior, number 32, Arroyo Edwards. And at forward, a 6'1 junior, number 40, Montrell Hobbs. The head coach for Milwaukee King is Jim Guys. And now tonight's starting lineup for the Germantown Warhawks. Starting at guard, a 6'3 senior, number three, Zach Showalter. At guard, a 5'10 senior, number five, Josh Mungan. At guard, a 6'2 senior, number 30, Zach Cumbier. At forward for the Warhawks, a 6'7", senior, number 34, Daniel Studer. And at forward, a 6'10", junior, number 40, Luke Fisher. Head coach of the Warhawks is Steve Showalter. The officials for tonight's Division I championship game are Chuck Morning of Menominee, Tyler Nelson of Eau Claire, and Ryan Nelson of Eau Claire. And here are those starting lineups brought to you by Delta Dental of Wisconsin, ensuring great smiles for 50 years. Experience the Delta De Dental difference for the Milwaukee Kings Generals, Malone Mitchell, Dominique Borum, Nick Stokes, Arroyo Edwards, and Montrell Hobbs. For the Germantown Warhawks, Zach Showalter, Josh Mongan, Zach Cumbier, Daniel Studer, and Luke Fisher. The Generals of Milwaukee King coming out in those blue uniforms. Germantown Warhawks in the white. This is the Division I State Championship. Germantown against Milwaukee King. Hold on to your hats, everyone. This could be fun to see. Getting set for tip-off. That's Arroyo Edwards for Milwaukee King. And it is Luke Fisher for Germantown. And we are underway. Well, we're going to get another tip here it seems you know what sometimes that happens let's give it another shot huh 
Here we go. And they're off and running. Three-point attempt right off the bat. In and out for Borum. And here comes Germantown quickly ahead. Be interesting to see how uh, Germantown's size affects uh, Milwaukee. Cumbier kicking it over to Mongan. Now it's batted away and taken away. This is Edwards. This is Hobbs now kicking it back out. A three-point attempt, and that is good. Austin Malone Mitchell. Mitchell had 13 points last night and three steals as well, and he's on the board right off the bat. Full court pressure, double team whenever you can. Now they feed it inside, nicely done, and finishing it off there is Daniel Studer. Both teams full court press, turnover. And just like that, well, three times, no, batted around them. Bunch of times right back at us, Coach. Yeah, you got it? Missed it. <laughs> we almost had that one for you. See, that's the thing. When we say hold on to your hats, that means us too. we got to be ready. I was watching to see if anybody was diving after it more than I was watching the ball. Inside, Showalter. No, batted away. But he's going to go to the line for two. Whistle. Montrell Hobbs, I believe, called for that one. Actually, he'll go against Dominique Borum, number 10. So Zach Showalter, who certainly, no pun intended, put on a show last night, along with his brother Jake. He had 22 points. Did Zach Showalter, along with Jake, actually, but Zach also had four rebounds and nine assists. He was also six of six from the line, so... Uh, He's already missed one there tonight. He shakes his head like he's already upset at himself. Well, that'll happen. You're, you're as much of a competitor as he is. That's going to be a turnover for King. Here comes Germantown. Showalter. Making himself no, but he'll head back to the line. There's two quick fouls now against Milwaukee King and two against Dominique Borum. Both teams pushing the ball, pushing the issue actually defensively and offensively. Those of you who would, we were just talking a minute ago in the break, the average points for both of these teams. And this is pretty incredible. Milwaukee King is averaging 76.1 and Germantown is 81.9. So you, there's a lot of points out there to be had on the court. You expect it to be a high-scoring affair. But again, the thing about Milwaukee King last night, I mean, that press defense just gave Oshkosh North fits. Again, set a Division I record with 20 steals. They used that full-court press and up-tempo style as well. Both teams, the press allows you to go on runs where you can score 8 to 10 points in a, you know, on a run against zero for the other team. That it has a tendency to speed the other team up also. Milwaukee King forced 27 Oshkosh North turnovers and allowed just 12 field goals and 12 free throws. And they also went on a 20-5 run in the second quarter on their way to a 59-40 win. A three-pointer off the mark. Dragging it down there is Cumbier. Josh Mongan kicking it over there to Fisher. Now a three-point attempt for Cumbier off the mark. Malone Mitchell will bring it up and quickly give it up. Inside now, and the whistle is blown. That was Edwards trying to get it to go, but he'll head to the line. It'll be Daniel Studer with that foul. There you see Arroyo a Edwards' numbers last night. He's a 70% free throw shooter as well. Very early on in this Division I state championship game here at the Cole Center. Royal Edwards misses that one, so it remains a one-point Germantown lead. This is Studer. Over to Showalter with a no-look pass, trying to kick it to Mongan for three, but he was hounded right away and turns it over. Now Edwards, count 
just a foul for Edwards. Nice move inside between three defenders, didn't you say? He just pushed the ball off the court, took the ball to the basket, said he was not set. So to the line, goes Edwards again. And he knocks it down. So King with a two-point lead now. Taken away again. Trying to go run him up, trying to slam it home and decided just to lay it in was Edwards again. Edwards lighting up the scoreboard. He's got six early points. There's a press we talked about, but Germantown breaks it. Oh, and a nice move inside for Cumbier. Back at him again. Yanked down. Well, we talked about it being a back and forth affair. These guys are in shape, huh? Both teams are running. King will come with more substitutes, actually. He kind of calls it a hockey rotation. That's the Big Ten connection right there. Zach Showalter inside to Luke Fisher. Counted plus the foul. Showalter, the future Badger, and Fisher, the future Indiana Hoosier. Once he gets it inside, he's a lot bigger than everybody else. He also helps them break in the press. They get it to him in the middle of the floor, and he can turn and see over the top and go either way with the basketball. See his numbers against Madison Memorial last night. Ten points. Five of ten from the field. Had six boards as well. Fisher's a 67% free throw shooter on the year. Eyes up this one and misses it short. So it'll stay knotted at nine. Edwards. Step back, a follow-away jumper, and the baseline is good. Well, Edwards is putting on an early show here with eight points. Three-point attempt for Showalter, yes! Jake Showalter getting started, starting off right like he did last night. That little runner, no, and yanked down by the 6'10 Fisher. Now they kick it ahead again. Zach, travel. Let's take a look at Jake Showalter, who just came into the game. Here's that three-pointer. About the same spot he hit it from last night, I think, the first one. He was six of eight from beyond the arc last night. Just had a fantastic game against Madison Memorial. The 2012 WIAA Tournament is brought to you by Rural Mutual Insurance Company, a proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award. Go to RuralINS.com. Inside, no batted away by a couple of Germantown defenders. Now they're going to say jump ball, and it's going to go Germantown's way, I believe. So John Averkamp will take it out of bounds. And Germantown get, gets the ball as Zach Showalter comes back into the game. Josh Mongan's going to take a seat. And also Luke Fisher back in, and that's Averkamp sitting down. So actually uh, taking it out of bounds now is going to be Daniel Studer. Germantown made a little adjustment. They're putting uh, Jake, Show, or is that, uh, Jake Showalter down on this end of the floor looking to get to a corner. And if they can break the press then get it to him. Oh, there it is. And now we got a jump ball, and now the Generals will take it back. <laughs> Coach of the teams in the state of Wisconsin, I mean, would you say that that press defense by the Generals the best there is? Well, both of them do it very well. So, I mean, Germantown doesn't have to take a back seat. I just think... Uh, Milwaukee King can do it in a half court set too. Even if you get it over the over the timeline, they can still trap you once you get it over that timeline. Edwards, now he turned it over. So here comes Germantown again quickly, up by one. Zach Showalter inside. Nope. That's going to be a turnover. 
That's two fouls, I believe, against Zach Showalter. So that is certainly something to watch early on. Well, what that can do is that'll take away some of his aggressiveness, especially offensively taking to the bat, you know, taking it to the basket, guys stepping in and trying to take charges. So that could be a factor. Well, and his dad, uh, Steve Showalter, the coach for Germantown, is going to take his son Zach out for right now. Let him take a seat as Mongan comes back into the game. So we'll see how King reacts now with Zach Showalter out of the game for now. Edwards. Yes, boy, he is just red hot early on. Ten points for Edwards. He's four of six from the field as well. Fisher looking for some help. Finds it. Big Showalter kicking it back inside. Now back out. Hongen going to take a jump shot. That's in and out and yanked down there by Montrell Hobbs. And nearly stolen away. Let's see. What's the call? It's going to stay King's ball, I believe. Let's take a look again at Arroyo Edwards. Again, he has four of six from the field. And he is just knocking him down right now. He dribbled into the lane, then leaned back and created space so he could get a shot off. He had 15 yesterday, as you see already, 10 tonight. Malone Mitchell. Well, here's Edwards. That one's off the mark, no, but King gets it back. Edwards nearly tipped it back in. And they get it back again. Now Edwards. And they turn it over. So Germantown will move it up quickly. Oh, inside and no. And that went off the face of Cumbier. Just couldn't corral it in. Back and forth we go. Exciting action here at the Kohl Center as Milwaukee King has a one-point lead early. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Ah, the workout is over. Time to recover, refuel, and re-energize. Recent studies suggest that one drink can help muscles recover faster than other leading sports drinks. Delicious, nutritious chocolate milk. With its powerful package of protein, potassium, calcium, and six other essential nutrients, shouldn't chocolate milk be your choice? Got chocolate milk? Okay, Edith, you are all set with the Packers checking account. Thank you. And we have a special gift for you. Oh? <gasps> Hello, Edith. Want more Aaron Rodgers in your life? Oh, my! Is that part of the deal? Oh. Get exclusive Packers checks featuring Aaron when you open a Packers checking account. For details, go to your nearest branch or visit us online. So do you play Canasta? All the time. I love that game. Welcome back to the Cole Center. 13 to 12, Milwaukee King up with about two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Well, we talked about Germantown going for its first state title. Take a look at the most title games played of all the schools. They're right behind Randolph and Beloit Memorial is Milwaukee King with nine along with Eau Claire and Nina. Pretty impressive stuff, huh, Coach? Yeah. It, you know, they haven't been here for a little while, but Coach guys have got to play in a certain style right now that they all believe in. And Milwaukee King, his 13th appearance at State, first since 2007. Won titles in 84, 91, 95, 03, and 05. So they've got a heck of a history. The stay King Ball. They also finished runner-up in 71, 92, and 94. They've been ranked nationally multiple times. In 2003, they were 17th in the USA Today poll. That three-pointer goes from Malone Mitchell. The bottom line for King. They've got a heck of a history. But you know what? Germantown, number one in the state for a reason. Trying to break the press right now, and they do. Momentarily. And it's another turnover for Germantown. Well, you can see that great defense of King just creating havoc. Now a three-pointer is good for Nick Stolson. Just like that, King is up by seven. Jake Showalter will have it, and again, Zach Showalter is on the bench right now with two fouls. So Germantown's leader not in there. Fisher tried to lay it in, but he was fouled and will head to the line. 
Let's take a look at the last couple of King Baskets now. And a quick three-pointer here by Malone Mitchell. And then quickly up ahead after the turnover, Stokes strokes it down. I think Zach's going to hurt him not having him in the game more on the offensive end than the defensive end just because the handle being able to handle that pressure and being strong with the basketball. Luke Fisher leans that one in and he'll have another one coming. Into the game for the Generals is Anthony Hatfield. Luke Fisher with one more free throw to go here. That is good. As I said, he's about a 70% free throw shooter. And that snaps an 8-0 King run. He's going to be a major factor right now with Zach on the bench. See how long that lasts. The Generals continue to try to take advantage. Edwards for three, no. King will keep it. Edwards has taken nine of King's 17 shots so far. That three-pointer is off the mark for Malone Mitchell. So Germantown, another chance here to cut into that lead. Break through the defense. Nice speed. This is inside and nicely done. That's Luke Fisher with the finish. They can get it to the basket without turning it over. They can finish because they're a lot longer than uh, Milwaukee King is. And the guy they're going to get it to more often than not is Luke Fisher. When you're passing it to him with a 6'7 guy also. That'd be 6'7 to 6'10, so. Now King, as it does from time to time, content to run down the clock a little bit. They have been impressive so far, haven't they? Both teams have. Actually, uh, Germantown weathering the storm without Zach, and then King has been as advertised. The general's eight seconds on the clock. They'll have to make a move here. Kick out for three for Edwards. Off the mark. One court pass, that's gonna be shorter. Shot, I should say. So, at the end of one quarter, it is King 19 in Germantown 16. Now a message from your local station. This is your WIAA network station. Welcome back to the Cole Center. This WIA game summary is brought to you by Skyward, creator of Skyward School Management System and Skyward Family Access, the best solution for Wisconsin school districts and parents. And coach, I think what really stands out, 19, I should say 16 of the 19 points for King coming off turnovers. Well, I'll say this again, they gotta limit the turnovers, especially points off of. If you can get back, the problem is, is you're turning it over in the front court and then they're going down and scoring off of it. And Zach Showalter is now back in the game after, oh, about a three-minute rest there. And as you said, it was big. The German town was able to weather that storm. Now the question is whether Zach can stay away for, oh, what a pass to Fisher that was by Zach, just couldn't finish. If Zach can stay away from the fouls, I was going to say, that'll be one of the big questions. Three-pointer is good for Nick Stokes. That's his second one. Back inside, turn around, nope, and we'll get a whistle and we'll shoot two. That's gonna be Daniel Studer heading to the line. Let's take a look though at the other end right now, the Generals 
And Nick Stokes hitting the three. So Milwaukee King, four of nine right now. They've knocked down four three-pointers. Their quickness in getting into the lane is really forcing Germantown to sink into the lane, and then they're kicking it out for an open shot. Is really good. You know, what's pretty cool is that the uh, the generals have got those white socks on with the blue uniforms, and uh, Germantown's got the blue socks with the white uniforms. It's like they planned this out or something. Maybe they talk to each other. <laughs> Second free throw, no good. Five point King lead. Very early on, already 39 points scored between the two teams. Kick it around, another three-point attempt. Nope, that one's no good for Stokes. This is Mongan. Three more players get set to check in. They go inside the Fisher. And that's what we were just talking about, wasn't it? Good spacing in the floor. They swung it around. He sealed, and then it was just him in the rim. If they can get it inside, it generally means good things when Fisher touches it. Malone Mitchell. Added it away. And that was a beautiful defensive play by Fisher. Using his size and his advantage. He said, nope, you're not going to get it around me this time. Three-pointer right there. Just off the mark for Mongan. Now Hatfield kick it outside, and he traveled. That's Corey Bias with the turnover. Closed captioning of this WIAA tournament broadcast is brought to you by your local WIAA network station. Well, Germans down on a bit of a run here, Coach, and uh, they've been able to break that press and get it inside to Fisher, and that's been the key so far. Luke Fisher and Studer have been a real key because you can get it to them in the middle of the floor, and they're hard to trap because they're so long. Fisher has eight points so far on three of four shooting. He's also two of three from the line. And Averkamp. Have it up top. Jake. For three, Jake Showalter no, misses that one. And this is Mongan, and they kick it back over. Zach Showalter gonna try a three, and it's, he says, hey, my brother can do it, and so can I, huh? Ties the game at 22. He saw that happening and just spaced to the corner, and they found him. Germantown has come roaring back after an 8-0 King run. Malone Mitchell resetting. This is Edwards. Yes. A pure stroke by Edwards. He knocks it in. 10 points, I should say 12 points for Edwards now. Fisher. We're going to get a foul against the Generals. And Coach Gaz not real happy about that call, but it is what it is. Here's the three by Zach Showalter. Zach Showalter, the future Badger, and then on the other end, here's Edwards. Well, Edwards is difficult because you got to back off him because you're worried about him taking to the basket, and then when he creates that space, he just goes up and shoots a jump shot. So look at Luke Fisher. Again, the future Indiana Hoosier. So Josh Mongan for Germantown will get this play started. Finds Jake Showalter. Now back over to Mongan. They go inside to Fisher. Yes. I'll tell you what. He makes it look easy at times, doesn't he? Well, he catches it, and he, once he catches it, he doesn't just throw it up there. He makes a nice move, seals with his body, and then goes right to the basket. Edwards going back outside now, and they're going to be another three-point attempt, and this one goes for Dominique Borum. They do such a great job, and, and what Edwards has been doing, and, you know, he's going to obviously have a lot of attention on his side with those 12 points, and they were able to kick it outside and get that easy three-point look. And 
Germantown trying to get that inside, and you know, that is just not easy against this defense. There's a lot of hands, arms flailing at you, bodies flying. Just so quick, both these teams. There it is. Once again, inside of Fisher, and Coach Gaz is going to call a timeout. He has seen that way too many times, and he says, guys, well, we got to talk. They're taking care of the, the pressure out front and then swinging the ball and getting it inside for a basket. Luke Fisher, 5 of 6 from the field. He's been a force inside. He has 12 points. Germantown down by just one. A message from our statewide sponsors now. This is your WIA Network Station. When you were a teen, a driver's license meant one thing, freedom. But to your parents, it meant the stress of finding and paying for auto insurance. Today, it's easy with Rural Mutual Insurance. We get teens. Our town and country auto policy offers young operator rates, claims-free discounts, deductible forgiveness, and multi-policy discounts of up to 25%. Since Rural Mutual Insurance only does business in Wisconsin, premiums paid here stay here to keep Wisconsin strong. Contact us at RuralINS.com. me the slam dunk king all right that was me six championships under my belt i never got off the couch so then one day i looked in the mirror and ah i saw my dad started playing basketball for real but not with these giants or with him there we go playing with ben and james yeah almost dunked it soon soon i'll be able to dunk it Welcome back to the Kohl Center. They are out in full force here at the Kohl Center as King has a 27-26 lead on top of Germantown. But Germantown has been making a lot of noise and it's been Luke Fisher doing a lot of the damage. They've been handling the pressure out front and once they swing the ball, then it's one-on-one -on -one in the lane. And look at the field goals by a quarter. Germantown is certainly... I should say King has certainly slowed down in terms of the number of shots they've had so far. There's a shot. That's going to just stick. I think we see that at least once every tournament. Going to get a shot that just sticks right in there. It's not it's easy to do from that angle. Take a thousand shots and not get it to do that. <laughs> but again, I think we see it. Oh, well, there's got to be at least a thousand shots a tournament, I'm just saying. Maybe not a thousand. Looks like one of those trick shots they have on TV that are from the upper rafters that it bounces twice and goes in the basket. Well, just speaking of trick, trick shots, now Coach Gaz referred to Germantown as the Harlem Globetrotters, and he said, uh, we're not the Harlem Globetrotters. We're the Milwaukee King Generals, and that'll just have to do. Three-pointer for Jake Showalter. I think his actual goal is we're not the Washington Generals. We're the Milwaukee King Generals. Right. All right, right back at him was Edwards. Not at 29. Another three-point attempt for Jake Showalter. He is starting to feel it. He's got three of them, and he's got nine points. That three-pointer is no good. Boy, when Jake Showalter is feeling it like this and can hit, what a force, huh? And that little runner by Mungin goes. Well, the good thing about this is they're doing that with uh, Zach and Luke Fisher on the bench right now. Just like that, Germantown up by five. That is their biggest lead. That's taken away inside by Averkamp. Gonna go back in the scooter. Now back around again. Big show Walter being hounded. Have a hard time getting him free again for a little while, but you know what? They're just gonna do it without him right now. Scooter hits that jumper. You can see him looking over at Jake, and Jake wasn't getting open, so Scooter says, eh, you know what? I'll just do it myself. Seven point lead now. Edwards finds his teammate. That was a nice dish inside, and it was Hobbs finishing it off. It's a close quarters pass. There's a lot of bodies in that lane. He still got the pass off. 
Well, as you see us close down the first half here, you can see what Germantown did last night to close out the first half against Madison Memorial going on a 15-4 run. The runner goes for Cumbier. Well, as of the last four minutes or so, Germantown just can't miss. They're getting good shots in the lane. Malone Mitchell will give it back up to Borum. And he turned it over. And they got some substitutions coming into the game right now. There's a look at Coach Goss, who's obviously not happy with the way things are going at this moment. Germantown's defense is keeping them on the outside, and they haven't hit a couple three-pointers that they've just taken, so it's difficult to get to the basket. And there you see the run. 14 to four over the last two and a half minutes for Germantown. That is why they are up 38-31. Big Walker goes inside, now they kick it back out. Back inside, Fisher. Yep, he's denied, but actually a whistle, and he'll head to the line. Milwaukee King is having all sorts of problems trying to defend Luke Fisher. Well, the big thing is he's not really catching it on the low block. He's in the middle of the lane. It's difficult to defend that, and he's catching it, and then he's spinning and sealing and getting right to the rim. This one rolls out for Fisher. So Luke Fisher has... Again, 12 points, three boards, five of six shooting. And he misses them both. A missed opportunity for Germantown there. Nearly taken away again. Driving inside and scoring is Hobbs. Closing minute of the first half of this Division I state championship game. Being hounded with Studer. Now this is Mongan. Mongan gonna, yeah, he traveled. You saw Coach Gobbs call that first from the officials right yet. There's right. about four people over there making that call, I think. <laughs> Coming back in for the Generals. This is Nick Stokes, who has a couple of three-pointers and six points so far. Germantown is really using their size against the pressure. The bigs are in the middle of the floor, and they're catching it, and they're turning and distributing to the guards on the wings. Also coming into the game was Chris Howell, number 50 for the Generals. He had a nice night last night with three steals. This King set a Division I state record with 20 steals in the game. Edwards, no, gets it back, puts it up, no. And we'll have a whistle. So that one goes against Jake Showalter. Non-shooting. So King will have it again, try to reset with just a few seconds left here in the first half of action. King took a lead, went on an 8-0 run. Germantown came storming back. Now a five-point game. Germantown, let's see, did he just lose it out of bounds? Yeah, he did. So one and a half seconds to go. Germantown will have one last shot. Trying to add to this five-point lead. Mongen going to just go for the touchdown here. Tip throw, Jake Schofalter just tosses it up and no. So... At the end of one half of playing this Division I state championship, it is Germantown 38, Milwaukee King 33. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Save big during the Menards kitchen and bath sale. Get the perfect sink with Franke, all on sale. This stainless steel sink with mirror finished deck is $119. This heavy duty offset stainless steel sink is nine and a half inches deep, $199. Let GE Garbage Disposal do the dirty work for you, all on sale. The half horsepower model is $59. This three quarter horsepower model with extra large grinding capacity is $89. Save big money at Menards. 
Skyward Family Access has been a great tool for our family. They are able to stay on top of all their assignments and tests. I also find that having three kids in three different schools allows me to keep up with each child so much easier using the Skyward Family Access. The thing for me is that I can communicate with their teachers and they now give me progress reports every week about my kids and what they're doing. I mean, and I just think that's invaluable. Self-expression can make a world of difference. Allowing individuals to express themselves is, in effect, telling them, you matter. By giving educators a voice, promoting programs like music and art, WEAC speaks for me and my students. Add your voice to the conversation at Speak Out Wisconsin on Facebook. There's a look at the score, and there's a look at the Milwaukee King drummers. These guys are good, to say the least. They've actually performed at the Bradley Center at halftime of Bucks games. They, they, they are fun to watch. Saw them last night here. They can get down. How about it? I'll tell you what, Coach, you take a look at his first half of action. The Milwaukee King really jumped out to a nice lead. was doing a lot of nice things. But then Germantown, well, they also got Zach Showalter into foul trouble, too, and he had to sit down with two fouls in the first. I can't get enough of these drummers. These are pretty good. <laughs> Keeping the beat. 38-33 to 33 is the score right now. Germantown on top of King. Uh, a couple of things that King did so well. Arroyo Edwards with 14 points. Luke Fisher, though, with 12 points, are getting it inside to him for Germantown. And the other thing about Zach Showalter with those fouls, he didn't have a single one in the second quarter, so that was certainly key for them. Well, they protected Zach, and then they swung the ball around and got it right into Luke, and he finished at the rim. They handled the pressure on the outside, and that was the big thing. All right, so 38 to 33 is our score right now at the half. We'll have the second half of this exciting Division I championship coming up in just a couple of minutes. But for right now, we're going to send it up top to Bob Radovich. Thank you, guys. We have a very special guest joining us right now. This man, of course, Dave Anderson, Executive Director of the WIA. Dave, thanks very much for stopping on up. Pleasure, Bob. Dave, the month of March is always so exciting. So many great tournament series. You had state individual wrestling. You had state hockey. Let's talk a little bit about hockey. That sport has certainly grown at the high school level in Wisconsin. Obviously, in the girls' side, tremendous growth in number of teams and number of players participating. And on the boys' side, competitive play and the talent level getting better. Just talk about the growth over time in that sport. Well, you know, when we first began, the, the girls' opportunity especially, Bob, I think there were only about nine or ten schools that, uh, that were sponsoring girls' hockey at the time. But uh, as we surveyed our members and spoke with our members, it, it felt like the right direction to go. So we were a little bit ahead of the curve of, uh, of interest in, in the growth of girls' hockey. And now I think over 30 schools are, are sponsoring and fielding teams. We're hopeful that uh, when the economy turns around, we might be able to uh, see some of those co-ops break out into, into teams of their own. Let's talk a little bit about basketball. This is the second year of five divisions in boys and girls basketball. What's been the reaction? What are you hearing from coaches, fans, and your membership, athletic directors, etc.? You know, I thought the other day that uh, Jerry Pettigrew summed it up uh, quite well in that uh, it depends who you talk with and, uh, and whether or not they like the, the bracket or the pairing. You know, overall, uh, we're, we're pleased with it. Uh, we have we have schools that are making it here this year that, uh, if you think about it, wouldn't have made it here, quite honestly, uh, in the in the old four division model. And so, uh, you know, the it, it may be a little too soon to tell uh, what the what the final determination will look like. But you know, for two years in, we we like the opportunities that are being presented to schools that we haven't seen before. And Dave, your association obviously deals with any number of issues, and this goes on year-round, but what is the single biggest issue? What's the single biggest topic that comes up year after year that you and your staff have to address? Eligibility, student transfers, uh, number one far and away. We'll process over a thousand transfer waiver requests in any given year, and uh, you know the, the interesting thing is that uh, if you're the school making the request, you, uh, you expect and want and, and uh, at times get upset when, uh, when that eligibility is denied. If you're the school who is being abandoned by the transfer student, you don't want eligibility all the time. 
So uh, our staff spends a great amount of time, Mr. Lebecki in particular, in uh, reviewing the documentation and all of those. And, and uh, his one directive is to find a way to make students eligible. As long as you can do it within the rules, we like kids to play. And I would imagine that's something, do you have to do that on a case-by-case -case basis too? Absolutely, every single one. Dave, we always talk about the magic of March, but that's more than just a, a slogan. I mean, it's something that you just walk through these uh, concourses and down on the court and near, you just soak in this atmosphere. It really is a special time, isn't oh, it? it? absolutely is. You know, we had a little alumni reception for our former Board of Control members this evening over at uh, the hotel where we stay. And uh, when, you, when you look at uh, the people that have contributed to, to this enterprise, to make these things viable and, and happen, and not only the, the WIA Board of Control right now and uh, the executive staff right now, but across generations and the generations of fans, uh, that's the thing that, that warms your heart the most. We get to be here at these tournaments. Can There's you believe nothing it? wrong with that. We it, call it a labor it, of love. Not bad work if you can get it. No, certainly not. Dave Anderson, Executive Director of the WI, thanks very much for your thanks, time. Bob. We are at the half Division I State Championship game. It is Germantown leading Milwaukee King for a recap of the first half. Highlights and stats. Let's sit at courtside to the coach Dan Witter and Jake Zimmerman. Okay, Bob, thanks. Yes, we're just about set for the second half tip-off here in this exciting Division I State Championship game. 38-33, Germantown leads Milwaukee King right now. Let's take a look at the first half highlights, show you how we got to this point. We'll begin with Milwaukee King. Coach, early on, it was Austin Malone Mitchell. The pressure, and then they hit some threes, which was big early. And Arroyo Edwards really doing it inside after a turnover here. He just takes it himself. Edwards with 14 points right now, and then also... This is Malone Mitchell to Nick Stokes for three. They hit five of 13 threes. Stokes had a couple of them. But on the Germantown side, and they weathered that storm, as we said, with Zach Showalter out with two fouls in the first. Early on there, Zach Cumbier driving and scoring. Then Jake Showalter, just like he did last night, knocking it down from beyond the arc. He is three for, for, for four from three-point range right now. And then also Luke Fisher, this was one of the key things for Germantown in the first half, getting it inside to the future Indiana Hoosier. And Luke Fisher right now has 12 points. Here's a look at the first half stats. Coach, what stands out for you there? The field goal percentage, obviously, uh, Germantown's getting it inside and finishing at the rim. Um, Milwaukee King is having a hard time getting at the rim with all the size that Germantown has. Let's take a look at the leading scorers right now as well. We talked about some of them from Milwaukee King. Arroyo Edwards with 14. Luke Fisher with 12. And there's the two show Walters, of course, would have to make it on the leading scorer list, right? Absolutely. Picking up where they left off last night. Germantown a five-point lead with Zach Showalter only playing six minutes of action. That's obviously very key. We'll see how this continues as Germantown has a five-point lead. Now a message from your local station. This is your WIAA Network Station. Great fight.
Welcome back to the Kohl Center. Germantown on top of Milwaukee King, 38 to 33 as we get set to start the third quarter of action in this Division I state championship. And Germantown will have the ball as we begin action. The five original starters out there on the court for both teams. Josh Mungin trying to get it going here for Germantown. Now they feed Zach Showalter inside. He makes his presence known right off the bat. A little backdoor play was great job avoiding the charge. So dumping it off there was Hobbs, I believe. Yep, went it inside, and they'll have a whistle. And heading to the line right now is so they have stole and there's a look at that basket on the other end right there by Zach Showalter to start the second half of action. Now I said the original five, actually Chris Stovall was not one of the original five starters and he is out here to start the second half. Yesterday you see what he did against Oshkosh North, six points with five shooting. It's one of two there. He's a 67% free throw shooter. Again to the middle, and then swing it down low. Get it inside quickly. Luke Fisher, no, but a whistle, and he'll head back to the line. The 2012 WIA tournament is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Take a look here at the last Germantown possession. I think Coach Showalter wanted him to dunk that instead of trying to just lay it in. Fisher has been to the line several times tonight. He was two of five before that one, so it's three of six now. And he leads the way for Germantown with 13 points. Luke Fisher can give Germantown an eight-point lead. He does not. This is that second one. And that's why you see why Coach probably wanted him to slam it home. Added around, knocked away. Here comes Zach Showalter. Zach Showalter. Nope, can't get it to go. He is fouled, though, and he'll head to the line. Well, Edwards knew that that's about all he could do there after Zach Showalter was off and running. And you see Zach kind of holding his uh, right arm there a little bit. He got scraped, I think, on the arm. But I think he'll be just just fine as he knocks down that first free throw. He's got to be like a caged tiger after sitting on the bench on the first half. He's got a few scrapes there on his right arm, but uh, that's bound to happen here at the state tournament with how fast these teams play and how hard they play. Makes one of two. Zach Showalter was perfect from the line last night. He's already missed two, but once again, King turns it over. Well, the guys just got tied up there. Malone Mitchell. Coming back into the game now is Anthony Hatfield for Germantown. And also along with him, Chris Howell. Zach Showalter leading the charge. Quickly ahead to Fisher. Nice feet inside. Nope, taken away, batted away, and here comes King again. And it was Malone Mitchell trying to feed Stovall inside, and they're just going to have to reset. The size of Germantown still affects them because they can't get right to the basket. Hatfield for three. Yes. <laughs> Anthony Hatfield makes it a five-point lead and nearly takes it away. Nice effort there by Hatfield, the senior forward for Milwaukee King. Germantown, who last night beat Madison Memorial 81-43 to to reach this Division I state championship. And again, Germantown has never won the state title. Zach Showalter, yes. And when he turns on the Jets and kicks it into gear, he's tough to stop. Plus he elevates, so it's not like he's shooting from the rim. 
King, and they knocked down several three-pointers early, making it look easy from beyond the arc, and now seems coach that defense is really quick to get to the perimeter. They weren't earlier in the game, and now again, Germantown a chance to add to its lead. Added away, now taken away by King. Stovall inside. Nope, but a whistle, and he'll head to the line. Take a look at the turnover again. So King has 11 turnovers tonight and Germantown so far has 10. We've seen plenty on both sides, but shoot, that'll happen with the way these defenses play as well, right? Absolutely, the pressure that they put on you is tremendous. I don't think you can appreciate how good both these teams are offensively to, to be able to withstand that pressure and only have 10 turnovers apiece or close to. Coach Guys, Milwaukee King, says, you know, someone always seems to step up on this team. He's got six players that have averaged double figures throughout the year. He calls it a special group, a hard-working group, and says he could, that they could have played at State the last five years, but really a tough sectional that they've come out of. Well, they are here now and in a battle with Germantown for the D1 title. And that was Mongan trying to kick it over to his teammate Zach Cumbier. But just uh, an errant pass and another turnover. So now both of these teams have 11 turnovers. For three, yes! Three-pointer for Austin Malone Mitchell. He's got nine points. Now that pressure. Start making some baskets and your feet move a little faster, your hands are a little faster on defense. Pick it up a little bit. Just a three-point Germantown lead and the pressure that that King defense continues to put on Germantown. Zach Schulwalter gonna drive. Nope, but a whistle. Let's take a look at the other end after Germantown's 11th turnover. Here's that three-pointer that Austin Malone Mitchell knocks down. So Zach Showalter heads back to the line here. He is four of six from the line tonight. Perfect three of three from the uh, from the field as well. Didn't like the way that the uh, ball felt. And this could to be uh, kind of wiped out a little bit. You know, wet ball there, but now he likes the way it feels. And he likes the way it goes in the basket. As hard as these guys are playing, you would think there's a little bit of sweat on the floor and on the basketball. <laughs> See, he says, yeah, now it felt perfect. Two of two. On that one for Zach Showalter, he's 6 of 8 from the line overall. So 46-41, Germantown on top. Three-point attempt. That one's off the mark for Hatfield. Showalter kicking it over to Mungin for three. Nope. Yanked away by the Generals, and they're off to the races now. Edwards going to just stop and pop and hit. He is under control when he takes that ball to the basket. Stop and pop. That's a difficult shot to make, and he did, makes it look easy. 16 points for Edwards, and now taken away by Borum. Dominique Borum. Yes. And quickly, King is back within one. And Zach Showalter, you can see, telling the rest of his team, hey, guys, let's settle down. Now Zach drives. Nope, but we'll have a whistle. Take a look at the last couple of King baskets, though. This one by Edwards. Boy, he does do that nicely, doesn't he? Under control, on balance. And then the turnover. Dominique Borum. Well, this is becoming a theme as we see Zach Showalter at the line again. Feels like he's getting into a rhythm, it looks like, at the line. He's knocked down the last three. A couple new players into the game. We've got Nick Stokes coming back into the game. 
for the for King. Malone Mitchell going to take a seat along with Hatfield. Zach Showalter going to give himself 15 points tonight, and he does along with giving Germantown another three-point lead. Edwards tried to kick it outside, but it was batted away and taken away. Now Mongan going to try to save it. Nope. King going to take it back. Here they come again. Edwards. Now just kick back and reset momentarily. Three-point attempt. Nope, that one's off the mark there for Stokes. Mongan nearly had it taken away, but we'll have a whistle instead. That one's going to go against Montrell Hobbs. So the foul on Hobbs. It's his second personal team foul, number five. Coach Khan is arguing for his player. General's going to bring in a couple new ones, Malone Mitchell, and they just continue to switch him in and out quickly. Jamal Posey back in as that's well. That's tough from a defensive standpoint for Germantown to make sure you know who you have. Luke Fisher once again inside. Pretty steady in there. He's solid. He gets the ball and he's so much longer he just finishes at the run. Luke Fisher stands 6-10. That jumper off the mark for Malone Mitchell. One and done for King. Germantown now has the numbers as Zach Showalter runs. Kicks it inside to Fisher just off his hands. And out of bounds. Turnover. Germantown with a five-point lead. Exciting stuff here at the Goal Center. Now a message from our statewide sponsor. This is your WIAA Network Station. In Wisconsin, we believe in lessons learned early in life. Play hard and play fair. That's why Rural Mutual Insurance sponsors WIAA Athletics and the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award. We're proud of Wisconsin and of our agents and claims adjusters who give undivided attention. They don't stand on the sidelines when misfortune hits. We serve everyone, rural or city, with the fastest claim service in the state. Rural. It's not where you live. It's what you value. A Farm Bureau service. To be heard is a powerful thing. When you help someone speak, you're not only giving them a voice, you're giving them an identity. By amplifying the voices of educators, speaking out for programs like special education, we act speaks for me and my students. Add your voice to the conversation at Speak Out Wisconsin on Facebook. We're back at the Cole Center for the start of the, actually not quite the start of the fourth quarter. Two and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Here's a look at the scoring by quarters. Here you see Milwaukee King and Germantown both with 12 points right now. Germantown holding on to that five-point lead. Again, they've minimized turnovers and then finished at the basket. Zach Showalter getting to the free throw line, and then Luke um, Fisher finishing at the rim. Luke Fisher and Zach Showalter both with 15 points. That Big Ten connection working well again. Malone Mitchell now up top to Borum. He was being hounded there by Zach Showalter. Got away and hits. Dominic Borum, a nice little spin move there on Zach Showalter to score. Now Zach Showalter with a nice move on him. Kicking it outside. Mongan for three, just off the mark. Here comes King. Three-pointer. One rims out there for Hatfield. They're going to reset. Another three for Malone Mitchell. And that goes. We are tied in this Division I state championship with two minutes left in the third quarter. Taken away by King, and now they've got it. Up by two. Taken away by Malone Mitchell there on Zach Showalter, and the Generals are fired up. Here's a look at the three-pointer by Malone Mitchell. And now the steal. They take it away from Mongan and score easily. Malone Mitchell with 14 points. You saw his three just a second ago, and there's King on a 7-0 run in the last 41 seconds. 
We told you they could score quickly. That's what we meant. 7-0 run in 41 seconds. The 2012 WIAA Boys Basketball Tournament is brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. What happens, they hit a three-point shot, and then they go get a steal, and then they come down and get a layup that turns into five points, and then you maybe hurry a little bit. That's how those runs can happen. First they score, and then they get a steal. When a team is so good and so uh, quick like that, and defensively with the pressure, I mean, can that get in your head uh, as, as uh, you know, on the opposition? Can, can that kind of mess with you a little bit? Well, I think over the long haul it really can. Maybe not in one possession, but they keep coming at you and keep coming at you. Now I think they're going to have Zach take care of the ball a little bit more and force them to, uh, to guard him. And if that continues, we'll uh, just continue to send them to the line as well as these fouls continue to pop up. Now that, that one was not a shooting foul, but we'll see as the game continues to go on here. So they see the team fouls right now. Six for King, two for Germantown. And his four personal fouls, by the way, on Edwards, who leads the way for King right now with 16 points. So that is certainly something to keep your eye on as well. Well, that's part of the danger of playing as aggressive as Milwaukee King does is, is following. So Fisher going to shoot a one and one here. And as we were talking about Edwards, I mean, he's taking a seat right now. I mean, Coach Gons really doesn't have much of a choice right now but to have Edwards sit down. And Fisher hits the front end. Can he hit this one? He will tie the game back up at 52. Back into the game is Daniel Studer for Germantown. And we'll have Cumbier taking a seat. And Fisher rolls in the second one. We're back to even, tied at 52. And again, keep your eye on those personal fouls. This could get interesting in terms of how it works out for King. Uh, they tried to get Malone Mitchell, who was open briefly for a three-pointer, but he lost it out of bounds. Well, they set an upstream for him, and he's floated to the corner, and the penetration to kick to the corner, he just lost it off his fingertips. I think he wanted to shoot it before he got it in his hands. A stumble back into the game for King. Cumbier, after about a two-second sit, is going to come back in. Zach Showalter had two early personal fouls, but hasn't had one since. He's gone nearly 12 minutes of action now without having a foul, which is exactly what Coach Showalter wanted to see. That one is no good there for Cumbier. And with a tie score, here comes King. We lost it, but they'll reset. Hobbs kicking it over there to Malone Mitchell, who's going to just pull up and take the jumper. No. Yank back down. Now a three-point attempt. Off the mark for Posey. Zach Showalter finally rips it down. Now they had a couple of looks. And now with 27 seconds left in the third quarter, Zach Showalter going to make his move inside. Can't get that one to go. Put back up by Fisher. Helps to have a 6'10 guy standing right there. Cleans up for a lot of mistakes and missed shots. Five seconds to go in the third. Malone Mitchell. Yeah, he kept it too long. The buzzer goes. Didn't like any of the looks he had. And as it stands, it is a two-point Germantown lead as we head to the fourth. Now a message from your local station. This is your WIAA network station.
Welcome back to the Goal Center. This WIAA game summary is brought to you by Skyward, creator of Skyward School Management System and Skyward Family Access, the best solution for Wisconsin school districts and parents. Coach, you look at the differential and three-point field goals on the bottom there. That's big in King's favor, but the free throw is way on the end of Germantown. Well, what you try to do as a team, you want to make more free throws than the other team shoots, and they've made twice as many free throws as the other team shot, so that's a big factor, and it's going to be because they're uh, already in the bonus for the fourth quarter. King has the ball, down by two. And they'll keep it here. Two-point game in the Division I State Championship. This is Dominique Forum. Going up against Studer there. Now he makes his move, but Fincher is there to say no way. He blocks that one. And they get it across the line. Fisher using his time advantage, and now you saw you saw Cumbier just in double team, couldn't find anybody and call a timeout. Take a look at the block, though, by Luke Fisher. There was no way that was going to work for Dominique Borum against Luke Fisher. He was at a distinct disadvantage on that play. It was about almost a foot differential, not quite, but almost. All right, so what are you saying if you're either one of these coaches right now to your to your team? Well, I think both of them are happy with the way things are going. I think in the fourth quarter, in, in this caliber of game, you're happy with an opportunity to win. In a two-point game, both of them are in it. I think uh, Milwaukee King, you may want to penetrate more. They had a couple opportunities to get open looks, and that's what they're looking for, to, of course, the three-point line. They want to get to the basket also. Germantown keep taking it inside and get to the free throw line. Again, those fouls, a major issue right now for Milwaukee King. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Now, Germantown with the ball. Inside, that was Zach Showalter. They're going to call him for a travel, I believe, right? I think it's a third foul. Offensive foul. Oh, it is. All right, so third foul for Zach. Probably well, doesn't like it, but it is number three for him. Let's take another look. Well, you be the judge. Either way, it is king ball. Not going to change. Oh, Mitchell back over to Stokes. This is Hatfield for three. Nope. One and done for King. Be interesting to see how long he keeps Edwards on the bench. And Edwards, the leading scorer with four fouls right now. That's taken away from Fisher. Here comes King. They've got the numbers. Stop and pop there for Malone Mitchell. Did not go that time. And again, they take it away. Inside and put back up is Anthony Hatfield. And that ties the game back up at 54. At times, it is almost like King has another player out there. They're so fast. They're swarming. But I'll tell you what, coming right back with a big answer is Josh Mungin. <laughs> Steve Showalter animated over there on the side. The Germantown coach. You always see Bo Ryan get animated like that. He played for Bo Ryan in Platteville. Maybe he got some of that from Bo. And King will take it back again. Edwards is coming in. Hatfield kicks it inside. A nice look and a nice finish by Montrell Hobbs. Good screen and roll off the side. It's tough to have help when you got that side screen and roll. Just a one-point game. Oh, what a nice feed inside. Now it's going to be batted away, but heading to the line is going to be Studer. Mm -hmm. The generals felt like they got the clean block, but the officials say no. Nope. Zach Showalter can find the open man as well as anyone. Huh? So the whistle was blown and heading to the line 
is Studer. He'll have two shots here. Got to add to Germantown's lead. And as you said, here comes Edwards. Arroyo Edwards coming into the game. He's got 16 points. He's also got four fouls. If you're Edwards, how, how difficult is it to kind of hold back a little bit now sometimes knowing you've got those four fouls when you play so hard and aggressive as it is? I think it'll be a major uh, matchup who he's guarding defensively deciding what that's going to be because I don't think it's going to matter that much on the offensive end but definitely on the defensive end because he's, he's pretty good at control on the offensive end stopping and taking the jump shot and not getting a charge. But on the defensive end, he was guarding Zach Showalter and that's a difficult task. Another Joe, uh, Showalter, Jake Showalter just comes into the game for Studer. Well, Mitchell thought about the three. Now he comes inside a little bit and misses that jumper. The German town with a three-point lead with the ball and five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Zach Showalter. This is Mongan. King gets it back. Well, this is that one. Does Malone Mitchell bat it away? And it's going to stay King Ball. Well, that was a nice job by Sobel, I believe, or I should say Hobbs, to knock that off a Germantown defender and kick it out of bounds. And now they keep the ball. Unauthorized use or rebroadcast of this program and live internet stream without the express written consent of Quincy Newspapers Incorporated, Wisconsin Broadcast Division, strictly prohibited and a violation of U.S. copyright law. That three-pointer, no, does not go for Edwards. Showalter content to bring it up court slowly, looks over at Dad who calls out some signals to him. Well, they kick it around, try to get it inside. They do. Ah, but Fisher can't finish, and now there's going to be a whistle. I believe that's a foul against Fisher. Fouls at German Tech, 40, Luke Fisher. First personal, fourth team. And sealed nicely, and then he missed the layup, and then got over the back. Just his first personal foul. Really, you take a look at the personal fouls. I mean, Zach Showalter is the only one in any kind of real danger right now for Germantown. Only 14 fouls for them so far. Eight for King. Uh, Jake, no, Zach Showalter has three. Zach like Cumbier and Studer both have two, but that's about it. On the other side for King, it's a different story. With Edwards with four, Hobbs has three, and Borum has three. So, again, a, quite a differential for the fouls. And again, that's a product of the the pressure defense that they play and the size advantage that Germantown has. That is blocked by Fisher. And we'll get another timeout as Cumbier corrals that one. Well, Fisher's had a couple of blocks here in the last few minutes. And Germantown takes a full timeout. A three-point lead with just under four minutes to go for Germantown. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash Dairy Impact Wisconsin. Okay, Edith, you are all set with the Packers checking account. Thank you. And we have a special gift for you. Oh? <gasps> Hello, Edith. Want more Aaron Rodgers in your life? Oh, my. Is that part of the deal? Oh. Get exclusive Packers checks featuring Aaron when you open a Packers checking account. For details, go to your nearest branch or visit us online. So do you play Canasta? All the time. I love that game. Welcome back to the Cole Center. Well, last night, Germantown went on a 29-6 run against Madison Memorial. They took the score from 29-26 to all the way to 58-32. to On the other side, King had a huge run as well against Oshkosh North, a 20-5 run. 
in the second quarter. Tonight, both these teams so evenly matched. We haven't seen huge runs like that, and we certainly haven't seen either team jump out to huge leads. You've got a great Division I championship right now. Both teams take care of the ball. Look at the field goals overall. Keene has taken a lot more shots, even though they haven't hit quite as many in terms of percentage. Now they take it away again. Another steal, as they've done so many times in this tournament. That three-pointer, no, does not go. Batted away, they get it back. Now the jumper, that's a little long. And that one is finally put back by Chris Howell. And a full timeout coming up here. Tell you what, King did just what it wanted, gets it to a one-point game. We're gonna take a break as well. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. That was me. Actually, uh, that was me. And that's not like me. I used to be a football player. Uh, wrong century. I wanted to feel like that again. So I did something about it. I got back into shape. Now when I chase the bad guys, they do not get away. Yeah, I got them. In Wisconsin, we believe in lessons learned early in life. Play hard and play fair. That's why Rural Mutual Insurance sponsors WIAA Athletics and the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award. We're proud of Wisconsin and of our agents and claims adjusters who give undivided attention. They don't stand on the sidelines when misfortune hits. We serve everyone, rural or city, with the fastest claim service in the state. Rural. It's not where you live. It's what you value. A Farm Bureau service. Last night against Oshkosh North, Milwaukee King forced 27 turnovers. Well, they're not too far behind that, actually. They forced 19 tonight with that pressure defense that they have. They've also got 13 steals last night. They set a D1 record with 20, but they do this consistently. It'll be interesting to see now the rest of the way what kind of offense they're going to run. Obviously, I think neither one's going to change what they've done all year. But again, I would think Germantown will want to get to the free throw line. Zach Showalter is fouled by Chris Scoble. So, he, as you just said, Coach, they want to get to the free throw line, and they got their wish. Well, and he had Edwards taken out of the game for that defensive segment. Now he's putting him back in. One more foul for King, and it's the double bonus time. This one will be a one and one for Zach Showalter, who, again, is very good from the line. He's 8 of 10 tonight. Last night he was 6 of 6. And on the season, he's an 82% free throw shooter. So if you want a guy at the line in Germantown, it's probably Zach Showalter. And he hits the first. That is really the tough thing for uh, King right now. Again, Show Zach Showalter, who got in foul trouble early, I'm sure that Coach Goss was hoping, boy, let's get this guy in foul trouble. Then he won't be in this position. He won't be the spark plug out there and the senior leader that he is if we can get him on the bench. But uh, to Zach's credit, he did not get a foul there in the second or the third quarter. Well, he's so strong with the basketball. Malone Mitchell answers with a jumper. Still a one-point game. Here's Zach Showalter now. He's going to drive. He'll take the shot and miss. Germantown able to corral that all, but we're going to get a turnover. They say come be air travel. Cumbier did, did a nice job of uh, getting that rebound. Just moved his feet though, and King will have the ball with a chance to take the lead in this Division I state championship. Edwards. Edwards gonna take the shot. Nope. This time Cumbier the rebound and takes it back over to his teammate Zach Showalter. Mongan now. Fisher going to go back over to the show. Walter kicks it inside. Got the look that he wanted. Just couldn't finish it out, but gets it back with Studer. And now we get a foul. 
And Studer will head to the line and shoot two. Let's take another look. Zach Showalter, another great feed inside as he does so often. Studer missed the first one, but was able to get it back and gets fouled again. And will shoot two free throws. And it's the first one. So Howell's going to take a seat. Well, Studer, as you saw, only 47% on the season from the line, but tonight he's five of six. That's big if he can make free throws down the stretch. And again, with that foul, King is now, I should say Germantown, is in the double bonus the rest of the way. Every foul against them, they'll be heading to the line to shoot two. And Germantown still has three fouls to give. Actually, two. King down by three. Borum. Now a three-point attempt is off the mark for Hatfield. Germantown with the ball, up by three, with a minute and a half to go. Looking for their first state championship in school history. Zach Showalter over to Mongan. Mongan content to let that clock just tick down a little bit. So is Zach Showalter. He'll come inside, kick it back over to Mongan. The two of these guys are just doing some layman's work, kicking it back and forth, and finally the foul is called. And now Mongan goes to the line, and the Germantown faithful is up, waving those yellow towels and excited as they know their team is on the cusp of grabbing the D1 goal ball, but still a minute 14 to go. Josh Mongan at the line for two very big free throws. And he nails the first. Nick Stokes at the game. Coming back into the game, Nick Stokes hit a couple of big threes early on in this game. All right, this is Mongan. And he hits them both. How big is that? They're going to be big, and he's going to get fouled again, or one of them is. Let's see if they take the ball to the basket and look to kick. Coach Tom out. Well, Coach Goss wants to talk about it. His team is down by five with a minute to go in this D1 state championship. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA network station. Oh, that was me, the slam dunk king. All right, that was me. Six championships under my belt. I never got off the couch. So then one day I looked in the mirror and ah, I saw my dad. Started playing basketball for real but not with these Giants, or with him. Here we go, playing with Ben and James. Yeah, almost dunked it. Soon, soon I'll be able to dunk it. Ah, the workout is over. Time to recover, refuel, and re-energize. Recent studies suggest that one drink can help muscles recover faster than other leading sports drinks. Delicious, nutritious chocolate milk. With its powerful package of protein, potassium, calcium, and six other essential nutrients, shouldn't chocolate milk be your choice? Got chocolate milk? Back at the Cole Center, there's a look at the scoring by quarter. It all adds up to a five-point Germantown lead over Milwaukee King with a minute 08 to go in the fourth quarter of this Division I state championship. Germantown still has two fouls to give. We'll see if that comes into play here. If somebody gets uh, close to the basket, they may take one just to maybe take some more time off the clock. Malone Mitchell for King. Three-point attempt. No, but we're going to get a foul called against Zach Showalter and heading to the line for three is going to be Nick Stokes. Well, that is huge. Zach Showalter not happy at all about that one as he has four personal fouls now as well and sending King to the line for three free throws with no time being taken off the clock either. 
Stokes misses the first. I would think they would want the ball in Zach's hands. That's what he just said. Two missed right now by Stokes. Well, as big as that foul was, that's how big those two missed free throws are. Well, if he could at least hit two of the three, that makes it a one-possession game. Now this one feels very big right now for King and Nick Stokes. But he hits it, so he gets one of three. Bit of a missed opportunity there for Milwaukee King. Now they've cut it, though, to four points. And again, Zach Showalter with four fouls. And they're going to get a foul called against Malone Mitchell as he tried to go for the steal. And going to the line is going to be Zach Showalter. Well, that couldn't have worked out any better for Germantown. It was close. He was trailing him and had a hand on the ball, but he might have grabbed his arm. I couldn't tell from where we were. Zach Showalter. And by the way, as you just saw, Germantown 8 of 8 right now from the free throw line this quarter. Megan 9 of 9. That's been a huge part of this game. The general's going to unload here, bring a bunch of new players in. Heaney coming into the game, number 12. Wiesenberg as well. Number 22 there is Kuszynski, Jordan Kuszynski, the junior guard. One more free throw coming here for Zach Showalter. And he puts Germantown up by six. Malone Mitchell kicking it out. Three-point attempt is good for Anthony Hatfield. Well, it's a three-point game again. You saw Coach Guys make a number of substitutions there. Is that what he had in mind, Coach? Yeah, I think they are looking to swing it. I think he wanted to get him going to the basket and kick it. So Hatfield knocks that one down. He's two of seven from beyond the arc tonight. He's got eight points. Be interesting to see what Germantown does inbounding the ball. I know they want to get it to Zach Showalter, but we'll see if they double team Zach with the guy, you know, the guy that's defending the ball out of bounds and not let him get it and make somebody else get it. Well, certainly a number of things here that you're seeing on your screen that are in Germantown's favor. Those team fouls and the possession arrow. If King commits any kind of a foul, it sends Germantown to the line for two free throws with that double bonus. Which has been the case now for the last couple of minutes. Zach Showalter being hounded, and he is fouled. Fouled by Malone Mitchell. And Malone Mitchell, is that number four for him? Yes, his fourth foul. The next one for him, he'll foul out. And Zach Showalter goes back to the line. He is 12 of 14 from the line tonight. Two more shots here, trying to put Germantown back up. Here you see the points by quarter for Zach Showalter. 12 of those 19 have been free throws. Make it 13 of 20. Well. He seems like he feels pretty comfortable standing here on the Cole Center court at that free throw line. He's going to play four years at least here at Wisconsin as well. He misses one, so he gets one of two, and it's a four-point Germantown lead. King, three-point attempt. Yes! Dominique Borum knocks down the three. It's a one-point game. Germantown trying to kick it up now. Zach Showalter over to Mongan. Mongan trying to get across the line. He finally does to Fisher. Now they swing it around. Zach Showalter with the ball, and he's finally fouled. Well, Dominique Borum knocked down the three-pointer and gets Milwaukee King back within one. Made a nice pass fake. 
Now Zach missed his last free throw. We'll see if that affects him here. Zach Showalter, the senior leader for this Germantown team with 20 points. See what his last 11 have come from the line. He rolls that one in. Either way, it's going to be a one possession game for Milwaukee King. Bo Walter can make it a three point lead, and he does. Strokes in two of them. Here comes King, down by three. And we'll get a foul, foul, give. foul called against Josh Mongan. So that does nothing for King. And 14 and a half seconds to go now in the fourth quarter. King again still down by three, and they'll get this ball out of bounds. I was going to say if he could get it right to the basket, he'd go for a two, but now there's 14 seconds left. He may want to just go, and go ahead and try to hit a three and then go after the basketball. They inbound it. There it is. And he drives and scores. Does a Royal Edwards to make it a one-point game. Well, like you just said, Coach, instead of trying to jack a three to tie this thing, they drive inside where it was a much easier look. And now they'll go for the steal, or maybe send Germantown back to the line. Either way, they have another opportunity, and really still plenty of time, 8.4 seconds to go. Well, now both teams will be shooting free throws, so if any foul happens, at least uh, King will be able to go through the bonus. Games decided by five or less. Milwaukee King, a perfect 3-0. On the flip side, Germantown hasn't lost a game yet, but they haven't won one yet either. They just haven't had close games this year. The reason why this team is undefeated, blowing opponents out all season long, that included the defending D1 champs in Madison Memorial last night. That has been a much, much different story tonight. A great Division I state championship. Here we go, Germantown. Trying to inbound it. This is Mongan, and Mongan is quickly fouled. So Mongan will head to the line, and he hit two key free throws not too long ago, and will try to do the same thing as once again Coach Gaz for Milwaukee King brings in four new players. So Hobbs is going to take a seat, and he is done. He's got five fouls. Didn't really have much of a choice. The junior forward, take a seat. Here come four new Milwaukee King players. We've got Royal Edwards coming back in, along with Anthony Hatfield, Nick Stokes, and Dominic Borum. The Stokes, Borum, Edwards, Hatfield, all of them have uh, hit three-pointers tonight. So we'll see what Mongan does here at the line. Germantown's closest win this year, closest game at all, was an eight-point victory against Homestead. So you got to think, chances are pretty good that's, that this is going to be their closest game of the year, but you wouldn't want it any other way, right? The Division I state championship. Mangan knocks down both free throws. Got to be a three. Makes it a three-point game. Here we go. Closing seconds. Three-point attempt, a long three-pointer, just off the mark, batted away, another three-point goes up, just off again, Nick Stokes misses it, and Germantown is your Division I state champions, first state championship in program history. Germantown finishes the season undefeated. What a great Division I state championship we had for you here tonight. Milwaukee King got a couple of shots there to tie this thing. But both shots just off the mark. That last one at the buzzer. And Germantown is your Division I state champs. Now a message from your local station. This is your WIAA network station.
The Germantown Warhawks are your Division I state champs. 72-69 over Milwaukee King. We've got some hardware to hand out. Let's send it over to PA announcer Jim Strick. The WIA Board of Control invites you to participate in the award ceremony for these two fine teams that have just completed tournament competition. Presenting the Division I awards tonight will be Keith Posley, Regional Executive Specialist for Milwaukee Public Schools, Jack Klebsedal, Activities Director at Germantown, and Tim Sieberton, representative of the Wisconsin School Board Association from Elk Mound Schools. They'll be assisted tonight by WI Deputy Director Wade Lebecki. Will the players from the Milwaukee King Generals please come forward as your name is called to receive your individual medal. Austin Malone Mitchell. Dominique Borum. Nick Stokes. Jahad Jackson. Jamel Posey. Anthony Hatfield. Josh LaFond. Cristobal. Arroyo Edwards. Montrell Hobbs. Corey Bias. Chris Howell. Chris Robbers. And now will Coach Jim Gaz from Milwaukee King please come forward to receive the team trophy. from Germantown. Please come forward as your name is called to receive your individual medal. Zach Showalter. Kendall Miller. Josh Mongan. Jimmy Dodens. Tyler Heaney, Jake Showalter, Brian Keller, Jordan Kuczynski, Duriante Hudson, Zach Cumbier. Evan Wiesenberg. Daniel Studer. Luke Fisher. John Aberkamp. Matt Schultz. Coach Steve Showalter of Germantown, please come forward to receive the team trophy. Welcome back. 
back there, there you see a Germantown with a 72-69 victory, their first state championship in program history over Milwaukee King. They captured this Division I state championship. What an exciting game. Right now, let's show you the play of the game, and really, who else could it be besides Zach Showalter? 22 points tonight. Wisconsin Corn Growers play of the game brought to you by the Wisconsin Corn Growers Association, working hard to provide food and fuel to America. Wisconsin's corn growers know how to grow lots of corn. Some goes to feed a hungry world. Some goes to feed our livestock industry. And some goes into ethanol production. And that's saving you money at the pump. In fact, studies show that it would cost you an average 90 cents more per gallon to fill up if we didn't have ethanol in the marketplace. With ever-increasing yields per acre, Wisconsin's corn growers are meeting the demand for food, feed, and fuel. And that's good for all of us. Okay, welcome back again. 72 to 69, Germantown over Milwaukee King tonight. I mean, Coach, we've seen some exciting games today on Championship Saturday. This was certainly another one. Let's show you how they got it done. The Germantown Warhawks. We'll begin with Milwaukee King, though, and they certainly had several answers, a lot of them from beyond the arc. That was Austin Malone Mitchell right there. And then again, Coach, another one, another three-pointer, this one by Hatfield. Especially early, they hit a lot of threes. They were able to run quickly and sometimes find the open guy. That's Dominique Borum knocking it down. He had a couple of big ones. Germantown had an answer all night long. A lot of times it was Zach Showalter. Zach Showalter with 22 points tonight. Many of those coming from the line. We'll talk about that some more in just a minute. That's a look at Luke Fisher. The future Indiana Hoosier laying that one in, and he was a force inside, especially in the first half of action tonight. This is Mongan for three. He had a couple of big free throws as well. So again, that's how it all panned out tonight. 72 to 69, Germantown with the victory. Let's hear from some very happy Warhawks. Scott Emmerich, take it away. Hey, thanks a lot, Jake. Steve, I know you've been pointing to this team for quite a while to finally get over that hump, get here to state and win a title. Now that you've finally done it, tell me what it's like. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, it's, it's been so much work. It's been so much fun. Um, I got the best group of boys. It's, they've worked so hard for us. And, you know, since they were 9, 10 years old, I've known all these guys, and I've grown up with them. Uh, and, they're all friends of my kids, which makes it all the more special. And to have two boys and, and, and all these boys um, doing what we ask them to do every day, it couldn't be more special for me. First ever state title for Germantown. Luke, get a sip there and tell me what it means going out at senior on top. You know, it, it feels great. Uh, you know, I'll be coming back next year and, you know, you know, it won't be the same team, but, you know, we're going to try as hard as we can to get back here. Zach is a senior going out on top here. 15 out of 18 from the free throw line. You guys as a team, 11 of 12 in the last minute and a half. Tell me about the team's poise and handling the pressure down the stretch. Uh, I mean, that's just every day, just shooting free throws all the time, just getting all those shots up. But, man, I love this team. This is no, There's no better way to go out. Senior year, this is just a dream come true. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. This is awesome. A loss for words they are, but they're getting their first ever state title. Jake, back over to you. Okay, Scott, thanks. Coach, I tell you what, we've seen some pretty good Division I championships in the last couple of years. Uh, last year, the triple overtime won. This time was almost as good. A shot at the buzzer there, but just does not go King's way, and Germantown comes away with their first state championship. We're going to show you some of the sights and sounds in just a minute, but for right now, let's send it back up top to Bob Redovich. All right, thanks, gentlemen. Very nice job on the call, and what a championship Saturday here at the Cole Center. Of course, we're going to be back here next week for the girls tournament but right now before we leave you we're gonna show you some of the sights and sounds of the 2012 WIA state boys basketball tournament Thank <laughs> you. 
97th Annual Boys State Basketball Championships are a sports exclusive of the Wisconsin Division of Quincy Newspapers Incorporated and have been brought to you by Associated Bank. Sign up for Associated Bank checking today and get exclusive Packers checks featuring Aaron Rodgers himself. For details, visit AssociatedBank.com. Marshfield Clinic, encouraging you to live an active, healthy life. Marshfield Clinic, don't just live, shine. Menards, save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Rural Mutual Insurance Company, a proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award. Go to RuralINS.com. We at support your public schools and your teachers. Join the conversation on Facebook forward slash Speak Out Wisconsin. We at moving education forward. And by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, 